Well, that's the, the uh, million dollar question, isn't it? Are we in the dream time? Are we actually creating our experiences? Um, and we're the creators of this reality and whatever. And part of me thinks of the holodeck in Star Trek, you know, um, that we first thought we've dialed in. Oh, we'll go at this time where everything's upside down because it'll look interesting or whatever. We'll go, you know, into 2000 and whatever and we'll we'll shake everything up. We'll have the goodies and the baddies and, you know, we'll try and do our bit, you know, around that and we'll create this new human and all the rest of it. We may be doing that for all I know. I mean, who really knows what what that hologram is that we're all part of, that consciousness we're all part of at the end of the day? And it may just be that or it's something else. I mean... That I, I, I'm not opposed to that as a possibility because we are told, you know, that we're creating our reality by all metaphysicians. You know, they're saying, you, you know, you're creating your reality with your thoughts. So maybe this is what it is, is the more that we can think on that higher level of love, compassion and, and caring for each other. And, and, and that kind of energy ultimately is what we're being challenged to project, to create a new world, a new reality, a new earth which is what the children talk about is going to a new earth or being part of a new earth or whatever. Maybe that's what the challenge is to walk our talk, not just talk about it, but literally walk it as, as um, a consciousness. So and those, I, you know, sorry, those children coming, those new models, they actually they'll hook up and produce um, children that will be of a higher vibration than even them. Eh? Yeah. In the, the, the challenge for us as the older models, I, I remember one um, email I got from a lady who had a little girl and she said right from birth she was telepathic. She could read everyone around her. And she says, you know, Mary, she's three now and she's still doing it. And it's so hard to keep monitoring your thoughts because <laughs> <laughs> your child is going to read them. And I thought, there's the challenge, guys. We, no, you know, that, that, the challenges for us to, to, you know, I think we've all recognised that our thoughts create our belief in reality or certainly they affect us at a cellular level. And then there's the collective as well. So we do have to learn to take responsibility for our thoughts and emotions yeah. and direct, you know, the energy that we want 